Welcome to our video on the Hilo area. This is part two of our three-part series of our trip to the Big Island. So here's one of the most popular areas of Hilo where everyone tends to go is uh, Rainbow Falls. Why it's so cool is because it's super easy access for anyone. You're just a couple steps away from the parking lot. Which of course means it's often busy, but we got lucky. Yeah. Yeah, we also checked out um, a couple different places nearby like uh, boiling pots and there was this other place that we really liked. It was uh, Wa'ile Falls. Such a cool spot. There was the lower falls and then the higher falls. And it's just about a 10 minute hike up to the higher part. There's plenty of space to explore and you'll see I ended up even swimming up there. Yeah, and if you uh, are, mis you know, Allergic to mosquitoes or bugs, I would definitely bring a little bit of bug spray. We didn't get bit too bad. Um, I think I only had one or two bites, so. Yeah, I didn't have any, but they don't tend to like me. Um, and I would recommend wearing water shoes if you're thinking of swimming at all, because it's obviously very rocky. Yeah, they had water slides, well, natural water slides, and uh, plenty of places to swim. As you can see, Rachel here swimming. This is still the upper falls, just from underneath it, so we could take a little dip. This area is actually very close to where we parked. The parking is street parking only. And this is the Hilo Farmer's Market. There was food, clothes, jewelry. Um, there were food trucks there that were great prices and we hear they're really good. We'll have to go back and try them for sure. Yeah, plenty of uh, fresh produce, all different types of stuff that uh, the locals there are growing. And um, yeah, the prices weren't bad either. We picked up a, a good amount, a couple bags of fruit to eat. A few places offered us samples. And I bought the ubi. It's like a purple sweet potato. Yep, so next we went to Pahoa where we had been watching some dogs for our friends. We definitely got the local experience that way. Yeah, so it was three labs, one of which was a puppy. Um, I guess the two of which were puppies, mm -hmm. but uh, one was a little older, but they were all really sweet and fun to take care of. <laughs> what an awesome backyard for them to play in. And for you to play in. <laughs> True. Yeah, I ran with them, I relaxed with them, and we got some fruit from their yard. So we explored some different beaches in the area. This one right here is the uh, Hawaiian beaches area. Strangely enough, there's actually not a beach there, so if you're looking for swimming, I would, I would uh, avoid this one. So next we uh, obviously got some more coffee in Pahoa at Kalahala coffee on our way to the uh, Japanese gardens back up in Hilo. There are beautiful trees there, landscaping, and basically I felt like, so my grandpa had bonsai tree plants when I was a kid with Asian structures, and I felt like I was getting to walk in that magical land from when I was a kid. It was gorgeous. Yeah, definitely a really cool area to check out, especially if you have family or looking for a place to just chill in the shade or or uh, check out that cultural area. Yeah, so this area on the other side of the bridge was such a family fun area. You could totally feel the aloha spirit. Everyone was just in the moment and happy. Yeah, they were jumping off their structures here into the water, making food, doing all sorts of fun stuff. Hawaiian music playing. We were jealous. <laughs> Thank you. 
my favorite, the Puna chocolate coffee. We went back twice. It was the only place we went twice. We had coffee every morning, but this was my fave. Yeah, we even got some cool stickers from there too. So another place that we frequented a lot was the Hilo Bayfront Black Sand Beach, which was really cool because there wasn't a lot of people there, really just locals fishing and kayaking and stuff like that. There's plenty of parking there, and it's right across the street from downtown Hilo, so super easy to get to. Yeah, we went and uh, explored a couple other beaches. We're only about five, ten minutes away. There's there's a, a bunch of different stuff to explore down there. Vibe Cafe was really a cool, fresh place that had vegan and vegetarian food. We got the vegan jackfruit nachos and fried rice. The flavors were popping. So Rachel really wanted to get a ukulele, so we checked out a local spot there called Music Exchange. So everywhere we went, we really heard people playing ukulele from the beaches to restaurants. So learning the ukulele was something I wanted to bring home with me, bring home some of that aloha sound. Here's another place we went, the Tea Presso Bar, which we obviously got some coffee at before we uh, went and checked out the next area. So one of our favorite places to go was up north of Hilo to Hunoli'i uh, Beach Park, which is a big surfer spot. There were so many local families there, not many tourists at all. There were even kids on surfboards with parents. Um, there was also a little swimming hole that myself and lots of locals were swimming down the river and back around towards the ocean. and. Yeah, my crazy face there is because it was freezing. And there was a, I want to call it a lazy river that joined it to the ocean, but it was not lazy at all. It was a fast little river, very fun to float down into the ocean. Yeah, it's a really cool beach. I would uh, recommend if you're going to go check this beach out to definitely show up early because there are not many parking spots and there are a lot of surfers there. True, true. Well, thank you for checking out this video. We have one more about the Kona area, and you can check out the one we already did on the south side. Yeah, thanks guys. <laughs>